Number two for the AP calculus exam says the velocity of particle P is moving along the x-axis and it's given by the differentiable function V of P. And it's, V of P is measured in meters per hour, so this represents our velocity function. So this is a typical AP problem where we have a tabular values. And it says that we have selected values of V of P are shown in the table and the particle is at the origin at time equals zero. So that's important as well. We need to know the starting point. So it says, just part A says, justify why there must be at least one time in the interval from 3 to 2.8. So I'm just going to highlight that interval. So point, sorry, point 0.3 to 2.8. So in that interval, we are looking for uh, where the acceleration is equal to 0 meters per hour per hour. Okay, so what's important in this problem is that this is, it says that the, P, the V function is a differentiable function. Okay, so since V P of T is differentiable, that means it's that that function is smooth and continuous. Okay, so the, therefore, smooth and continuous. So this actually allows us to apply the mean value theorem. Okay, so therefore MVP, MVT can be applied. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to apply the mean value theorem to this problem. So it says that the average slope of the acceleration, okay, so the average average slope of V of P, which is also the acceleration of particle T, or for particle P, if the acceleration is equal to zero, okay, we can say that the instantaneous slope is equal to the average slope. Okay, so that's the instantaneous slope is equal to the average slope. That is mean value theorem. And that can be applied here. Again, what's important is that the fact that it is smooth and continuous. We know that there are average slope between these two points okay, at 55. So I've just drawn in here at 55. Okay, maybe I'll just highlight that in a different color here. So these two coordinates are going to be these two points here. And we know that there, as a zero slope, there must exist a zero slope since the average slope is going to be zero. So we know that the instantaneous slope must be zero at some point. Now I've drawn two in, but just the mean value theorem says that there is at least one point. Okay, so we can say that the average slope of V of P of T is equal to V at 2.8 minus v at 0.3 over 2.8 minus 0.3 and that's going to be equal to 55 minus 55 over 2.8 minus 0.3 which is basically equal to zero. Okay so the slope is equal average slope is equal to zero so we know that by mean value theorem the instantaneous slope, which is acceleration, must also equal to zero. Okay. 